the first game of the NHL season 2024-2025 Devils Sabres in Europe and I have the pick for you in this game guys welcome back to Wager Talk TV Andrew McGinnis here with an NHL pick for you we'll get to that in just one second but one great deal going on right now at Wager Talk for you guys to take advantage of seven days all plays $77, a great deal, massive savings. You're going to get all my plays, including my NHL wagers for the rest of the preseason and the start of the regular season. Seven days for $77. Guys, do not miss out on that great deal over at wagertalk.com. Let's not waste any time. Let's jump into it, guys. The first game of the NHL season over in Prague. We have the Devils and we have the Sabres going head-to-head. Uh, a little bit of a, a, a briefing on these two teams as far as how the odds makers feel overall about these teams heading into the season. Uh, the Sabres win total or, or point total listed at 88 and a half. The Devils at 100 and a half here. So clearly the edge going towards this Devils team. Of course, the Sabres battling it out in a tough Atlantic division and the Devils are right up there expected to you know, be at the top of their metropolitan division. Look at the goaltenders for the first game here for both these teams. The expected goaltenders, well, Markstrom for the New Jersey Devils. They added Markstrom, so now they have a great goalie tandem with Markstrom and uh, Jake Allen. And of course, over for Buffalo, they're going to have Uko Pekalunen. And uh, he's going to be a guy that's great for them. Sorry if I butchered that name. Uh, but either way, he was solid for them last season, guys. But one thing I will say is that I am expecting some regression uh, for him. Because you look at moneypuck.com, you look at natural stat tricks, some of these great websites we use uh, to look at our data. And while well, his goal stayed above average in some key games, I, I think those numbers are hard to sustain. And this Buffalo Sabres team done a good job of drafting and trading for great defensive players. Don't get me wrong. But when I look across their defensive lineups, I don't see a lot of stay-at-home defensemen. In fact, I see a lot of defensemen that love to jump into the rush. A lot of defensemen that like to contribute offensively. Now, each team in today's NHL needs to have guys that are capable of doing so. But I also believe you need to have your stay-at-home guys I don't think that the Sabres have that as much. And I also am worried about their penalty kill uh, as they were prone to giving up a lot of uh, goals on the uh, power play when they gave up uh, a lot of chances to their opponent last year. Now, looking at some of these forwards, I do think they do have some 200-foot forwards, but I have a feeling that New Jersey is going to have their way with them in game one of the season. Now, the line to me the consensus line we'll roll with here is anywhere between minus 145 and 150 on the money line in this game. Now, both teams, uh, relatively fresh coaches, of course, to their squads. Um, you know, we can say especially, though, for the New Jersey Devils with Sheldon Keefe as he was relieved of his duties for the Maple Leafs, and he'll go on to take on another talented team, of course, with the New Jersey Devils. And guys... Instead of betting the money line for this Devils team, we're going to take a look at the team total up and over three and a half. And I love, love, love getting plus money when we can do this here. This Devils team, a lot of the games that they win, guys, are going to be when they score four goals. You know, they, they've been kind of an up and down team defensively. One year, they do well defensively. The next year, their offense is good, but their defense isn't there. This is a team, guys, that I am completely sure of when you are backing them, when you are planning on betting on the New Jersey Devils, the, the team total is the way to go. The money line might cost you because of the prices you'll have to lay with them. But if you can find yourself betting on the Devils and betting on them to get to four and not worrying about their opponent, that's the best way to go about it. Now, you got guys like Timo Meyer, like Jack Hughes, like Captain Nico Heischer. You've got um, Jesper Bratt. And then, of course, you have a pretty good bottom six as well. Um, you've got Palat, Halla, Stefan Nason. You've got even a guy like uh, Curtis Lazar on your fourth line. I think is very respectable. Uh, we can't forget about Dawson Mercer, who's a great player for this Devils team. So I think when you look at this squad and a few, a few guys on defense that can step up and play offensively, they've got not one, but two great power play units. They've got speed and they've got that angle as far as trying to impress their head coach immediately and get off to a really good start. And I feel as if the speed for this Devils team and their power play will be a little bit too much 
for the Buffalo Sabres to handle in game one. So guys, I'm expecting the Devils to get off to a great, great start here in Prague in the first game of the entire NHL season. We're going to take them up and over three and a half team total goals at a plus 105 price. And again, guys, seven days of all access, all plays for $77. You can get that at wt.buzz slash am. And also you can get 30 days of my NHL plays over there as well. And you'll also get the remainder of my NHL preseason. All the best, guys. Hockey's back. Let's go. Let's cash these tickets.